Hey guys, just want to share some thoughts with you. Someone, Ryan Denlinger, Husky, 39, 3, 394 XP, whatever. Anyways, I've kind of restrained myself from making videos on him for a little while, but I've been watching his stuff, and there's so much that could be said, but I'm just like, it's not worth it right now. Uh, I just haven't been in the mood, I guess, but... Uh, anyways, I'm looking at this. I saw this, the occult origins of Sudoku, and... Then I saw like him and his wife in this picture, and I was thinking, I think that I thought like before I even clicked on it, I was thinking like his wife probably like played Sudoku or something, and like he didn't like it, and so like he looked up the origins of it and he found somewhere that explained that it had some kind of occult origins, so that he could now say that you know it's ungodly to play it or whatever. So, and that's pretty much what he says. He says that, yeah, that's pretty much what he says, that she played it and it always bothered him. He didn't know why. And and so he did some research and he found out it has occult origins and is related to Jesuits or the Catholics or whatever. I don't know. I'm not really paying too much attention to what he's saying, but it's just nonsense. I mean, it's just like a puzzle game, okay? If people want to play that, this is just insanity. But people are just taking things way too out of, I mean, but I want to say, though, I mean, what about, like, these patterns on their clothes and stuff, like, this plaid or this flannel or whatever, like, you could probably find occult origins of that. Where did that stuff start from, <laughs> you know? Uh, they use computers and electronics, apparently, you know, does he have, like, a Mac or does he have Windows? You know, these companies are, are wicked if you trace trace the things that they do but he'll use them but you know he can say that maybe he can say well he's using it for good somehow or something but then people could say the same thing for other things you know um oh i don't know i don't know i don't even want to come up with examples really but I'm just saying, this is, he's, he must be, like, very controlling, and, like, it's, uh, and there's, like, 71 likes on this video. Like, that's insane. <laughs> you know, it's interesting to see the origins of stuff, too. And, like, Easter, like, there's a lot of videos yesterday and stuff this week about people talking about how Easter's pagan and everything. And, you know, if I do have a problem with any holiday or anything it is halloween i would say that that's something that's really bothered me because that pretty much is like evil day <laughs> and you know a lot of satanists and people take that seriously and um there's a lot of kidnappings and stuff and crimes that goes on then so i've kind of taken that up to be like my prayer and fasting time but uh you know, and people want to make a big deal out of Christmas and Easter and say how pagan they are and everything else. And just like I heard, uh, I, I watched one about, you know, treading serpents. Um, can't remember his name. He's with Jason Cooley. Nate Marino doing his own thing now. Basically like a second Jason Cooley. But he... Uh, talking about Easter in the King James Bible, but I remember him saying, like, yesterday, like, you shouldn't, like, he's saying basically that for people to paint eggs, to have your kids to paint eggs on Easter is, like, pagan, and, like, it's ungodly and satanic and stuff. It's, like, so, like, is it ungodly to paint eggs on any day that besides Easter? I mean, is it ungodly to paint anything? Can you paint, you know, a, a box or, like, a cube? Or anything like I, I just you know I mean I don't really see the harm in that and stuff and I used to be that way like really strict on things like saying everything's the, the appearance of evil and you can't do this or do that but I think that's just really absurd honestly uh, some people might take things too far both ways but you know, I mean, Sudoku is just like a puzzle game or whatever. 
And people will be like, no, no, it is, like, satanic. Like, you just don't see it or whatever. <laughs> and plus, like, I've always said, like, you know, people say this is evil and that's evil and everything. And they try to expose stuff. Um, and I've done that. And it's interesting, and maybe there's a need for that sometimes, but generally, I mean, everybody is, it's a fallen world, okay? Like, trying to trace things back to their roots, and like, coming to paganism, or coming to um, Jesuits, or whatever, you know. No, it all goes back to Adam and Eve, and the fall. That's where everything traces back to. Okay, sin. Oh, so... Anyways, this is, like, very cult-like, okay? I mean, what's going to be next? <laughs> and, you know, he says that um, interracial, there should, interracial marriage is ungodly and everything else. It's, like, very, very strict in his eyes what he thinks is right. And if people think that, or people are convicted about certain things, you know, that's one thing. And if you as an individual want to refrain from doing something because you think it's fine or wrong, whatever, that's fine. But um, I think this is just taking it too far. And then I was looking at this too with James Battelle and um, James and Patrick. Revelation 20, I haven't really started listening to this, but if you want to hear a futurist interpretation of Revelation 20, where they talk about the Millennial Kingdom, this will be it. I mean, I'm probably going to listen to this later. This is what I do, like, all the time. I'll sit and listen to all these people, see what they're up to. But, uh, I mean, besides studying and other things that I do, but a lot of times, or at least in the morning, when I'm sitting here drinking coffee, that's what it is, like, 9... 25 a.m. right now, and I'm going to be mowing some yards pretty soon, but I'm just checking this stuff out, and I listened to Robert Light this morning, and he actually had a good little video that I'd like to talk about later, but he's somebody who teaches that, you know, you have to, like, work for your salvation, and you can lose your salvation and stuff, but he was talking about how the last the eight years of his life he spent in ministry, and most people would think that's crazy. Like, they would think that, you know, because he didn't get a career and stuff, that he has, like, thrown away his life. And the world, like, thinks it's madness to serve Christ. Um, that was pretty interesting. And it's, I felt like I kind of needed to hear it at this time. But, but yeah, I mean, he's definitely got, like, false gospel, so... <laughs> But there are some good things in some of these videos of these people. There definitely are. There definitely are. There's probably some good points in the James, the James and Patrick one. But I would totally disagree with their view on Revelation. But, um, yeah, this is just crazy. Just to the extremes that Brian Denlinger goes, and others, lots of others. There are probably lots of people who would agree with the Sudoku being a cult and wicked or something. Oh. Anyways, I just wanted to share my feelings about that. God bless. <laughs>